Today we get to remember a very special person. It's the Memorial of St. Maximilian Kolbe. We tend to think of the saints as these people who lived centuries ago, but recently, I mean, I think this is becoming more of a current reality, right? We have St. Teresa of Calcutta, Pope St. John Paul II, St. Gianna, these people who lived in this recent lifetime who maybe we've seen on TV or maybe even met in person. So what does it take to become a saint? You know, these ones that the church recognizes as having loved Jesus so completely that their souls must surely be with him in heaven right now. Well, we can take a cue from St. Maximilian Kolbe. He was also known as prisoner, prisoner number 16670. He was arrested in February in 1941 in Poland, and in May he was sent to the Auschwitz death camp. A couple months later, when a prisoner escaped, 10 men from his barracks were picked to suffer death by starvation. Father Maximilian was not one of those 10, but when he heard this one prisoner, his name is Francis, when he heard him cry out a cry of pain, thinking about his family, Father Maximilian stepped in in his place, took his place. That was in July He died in August of 1941. He was 47 years old. And the prisoner whose life he saved was at his canonization in 1982. So how do we become a saint? Back to that question. Well, we can take a cue from Maximilian Kolbe and from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 13. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. But to do that, we have to listen. We have to be attentive to the needs of others. Father Maximilian was attentive to the needs that were not his own. He heard that man cry out. He heard it not just with his ears, but with his heart. He listened and he responded. And if we do that day after day through and with the love of Jesus... We're not only going to meet our Savior, but we will surely inspire others to want to do the same.